Lightning 100 with Alan Stone and Upside. We're playing Alan Stone on Lightning 100 for quite a while now, and we played it just now because not only is he playing today's Sound Harvest Music Festival, he actually found a few minutes to join us here at the Lightning 100 tent. Hello, Alan Stone. Hello, how Welcome. are you? I'm doing well, man. You? I'm great. Good. Welcome back to Music City. Thanks for having me. Did uh, did you just get in today? You've been in for a couple days? Yeah, we, dro- we, we played in Louisville last night. I drove in this morning. How was the gig? Go good. Um, the gig was great. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> you sound like you have something else to say about something. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Oh, the gig was awesome. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we raised money for breast cancer. Oh, that's amazing. That's awesome. So the gig was awesome. Good there job you by go. you. That's great. That's really cool. You are from Washington. Washington State. Okay, I'm not familiar with this, and it doesn't sound good. Um, no, I'm just kidding. It sounds great. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but you're from a small town in Washington. Mm-hmm. Do you feel like that's informed your writing, being from a small town? Um, I've never been from a big town, so I don't know. Uh, okay. But uh, I would imagine that it has something to do with my um, the, the chip on my shoulder. Yeah, right. A little bit when it comes to writing about things. I don't write a lot of love songs. And maybe there's no there's no, there's then no love in the small no, town. No, no man. <laughs> no man, you're just living on a subsistence farm just trying to get by, just man. Trying to get by, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I think it's great. And you grew up singing in church. I did, yeah. Am I right? Uh-huh. Okay. Now, do you think that's influenced the sort of music you do now? Yeah, for sure. For okay. sure. I grew up, you know, I I'm not a trained musician. Um I you I mean, don't know an A from an A flat uh as far as the I know the sound, but um, but not the technical the side chord of music. Structures yeah, I, I yeah. couldn't tell you why. You know, yeah. I, I learned the feel of music in church, and so I think that definitely influenced um, what what makes it on a record or what makes it on a live show, uh, based upon how it makes me feel. And I, I learned that in service for sure. Okay, that's very cool. So when you when you go to make a record, I, I mean, do you have like dozens of songs that are just ideas that are songs that are done that you kind of go back okay it's time to do another record i'm going to pull from these maybe finish a couple or is it something that it just the way it happens well like, what i do is i get like 12 different writers from la oh so <laughs> smart and okay. i toss so around a track amongst them okay until it makes it to me and it needs one more word <laughs> and then i top it i put the sprinkles on the top Okay. Oh, that's I see how, what no, you're doing. No, I just don't do that. <laughs> no, I just I have ideas. Yeah, it's it's me. This last record was me and a producer, okay. um, a, a close friend of mine named Tingsek, who's from he's from Malmo, Sweden. And so I went over to Malmo, and uh, we locked ourselves in the studio for about three months and wrote and produced the record um, by ourselves. Okay, is that different than previous records that you've done? Uh, I mean, do you usually go into the studio and just crank it out, or do you do you show up with some songs and I, sh- I always show up with ideas there's some songs okay. that kind of happen just in the studio sure kind of like okay what are we going to do today well, we should probably try to write a song right <laughs> um, and then a song happens other times just terrible things ensue <laughs> um, for example <laughs> like <laughs> really putting you on the spot today. Just like, <laughs> like how many saltines can you eat in oh like boy. A, you know 30 second period right it's just hard to do i was but you'd be surprised at how little saltine you can get into your esophagus before you start to choke. <laughs> it's one of those dares that seems really like eminently doable until you're like two saltines <laughs> in, <laughs> and you're like, "This was a huge Hurt, mistake. Huge mistake. <laughs> I've made a horrible, <laughs> horrible mistake." Yeah. And then every time you go to the the local watering hole and they give you clam chowder, you just have PTSD. Right. <laughs> from, 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 <laughs> Alan Stone joining us here in the Lightning 100 tent. We're broadcasting live from Sound Harvest Music Festival. You do still have time to come out. There's still plenty of great music yet to come. Um, have you had a chance to catch any of the acts that have yeah, played I watched, today? I watched Dem Vibes yeah. earlier. I really liked them. Uh, <laughs> the, it's hilarious, but the lead singer of this band is like the twin of one of my close friends. And last time, I'm not kidding you, last time I was in Nashville, I saw this cat driving. Yeah. And, like, stopped him, like, and was like, dude, like, (laughs) I'm sorry, but you look exactly like one of my best friends. Wow. And then I just saw him performing on the stage. I need to go meet him. I don't. His name is Larry. He was just in here doing an interview. Larry. Yeah, his name is Larry. He's he's similarly 
similarly charming as you. You guys would probably get along great. Dude, I'm going like to chest so. bump yeah. the hell out of yeah. yeah. <laughs> you don't even have to plan it. You'll just, just be, be jumping in the air. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be like that high five in Tech Mobile, if you remember that. Yeah. Where it's just oh my God! They they, they 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 jump like twelve feet, like over the goalpost. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pretty clutch memory that yeah. I'm enjoying having again right now. Yeah, I, I, I met Warren Moon last week. Are you wow. kidding me? Yeah, man. And I told him I was like, Warren, I picked you every time oh. on the Orioles. Yeah. yeah. When you were in Tech Mobile. Man. Oh, yeah. dude, he threw a tight spiral in real life. <laughs> Still can. <laughs> still I think can. he's probably still got it. He's oh, probably yeah. still playing in the CFL right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's 40. No, he's probably yeah. 55, something yeah. like that. He can still spin it, though, he man. He can spin oh, it, man. Yeah. Definitely. Wow, got a little warm moon reference in there. That's awesome. <laughs> I've been waiting to make that all day, right. and you did it. Thank, Thank you. you. Right. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, again, Alan Stone's going to be performing a little bit later tonight, along with uh, Benjamin Booker, Vinyl Thief. Uh, the Flaming Lips are going to be closing things down. Have you seen the Flaming Lips before? I've seen the Flaming Lips. Yeah, I saw them at where was that Firefly? I've seen them a couple times. Yeah, like, okay. it's just so cool, man. Yeah, I just the amount of like work that goes into Dude. a production like that. Yep. I, I just and I I'm just fly, where do they keep it all? <laughs> <laughs> They've got to have a warehouse somewhere, right? Yeah, they imagine. just they're like nah. We're gonna bring the mushroom and the rainbow. <laughs> yep. And then, you know, and thirty-seven thousand balloons. Thirty-seven thousand, because like they got like just yeah, eight thousand pounds of confetti just sitting somewhere. Saw so them at Bonnaroo a few years back. They played uh, Dark Side of the Moon. They started the set at mm. midnight. And Wayne had brought like 30,000 laser pointers and started handing them out to people Dude, at the show. So and rad. then would tell them where to point it during the show, you know, point, point them on me, point them on the disco ball. He's Pretty so incredible. creative, man. Yep, he's just definitely. like, he's, a, he's, he's not of this world. Looking forward to that set. Looking very forward to your set as well, Alan. Thank you so much for you uh, stopping Thanks by. For having me. Thank you. Really appreciate it. And uh, don't be a stranger. Next time you're in Music City, let us know. All right, man. Me and Larry will stop by. There Bring you go. <laughs> All right. Alan Stone here on Lightning 100.